All right, good morning. Um, let me have a lab on this. Well, uh, this morning, and for some reason now it's not working. There we go. Just out of curiosity, I googled Diablo 3 versus Path of Exile. There's lots of comparisons between these two games, so I started off. Uh, I just started going through going through this, looking at all the comparisons. Um, like D3, like D3 and uh, Path of Exile, and I. Oh, there's a lot more on here than I thought. You know, sorry, let me page up it. Which basically get in the uh, the grand total of everything, Diablo 3 4, 19 versus Path of Exile 440. Um, Diablo 3 comes out on top for casual players. Path of Exile comes out on top for hardcore players. Path of Exile also wins an overall weight. So I figured, hmm, that kind of piqued my curiosity. So, so currently I'm downloading Path of Exile right now. Eventually, I'm gonna be streaming it, but it's still up. Uh, yeah, it's still downloading right now. So what I'd go ahead and do is, uh, I'll just I went on here to the for the uh, overview, and just I thought I'd just go ahead and check it out and give my own commentary on it. Action RPGs have always been about two things, devastating skills and valuable items. Yeah, blah -de da Skills in Path of Exile are gems. Gems and grand abilities when socketed into equipment. So this is going to kind of work like the Materia system in Final Fantasy. Or at least uh, Final Fantasy VII, this is how it worked. Most of what you could do in that game was centered around whatever Materia you put in weapons and armor. Wide range of support chance of losses. Modified. Chain from enemy enemy split into multiple plane of projectiles with five support gems. Gems level up independent and some are hard to find. They can be very valuable in trade. Ugh. You mean I gotta I'm not anti I ain't anti social man, but I hope this is gonna be one of those games where uh I think I, I think uh, Diablo 2 was like this. You were you were basically forced to trade with other players. Yeah, that kind of a turn off. I need to be able to be so totally self sufficient first. You know, not not have to rely on other people. I don't like being at the mercy of others. So uh, this one here can be is a bit of a turn off. Yeah, so this is this is my uh. I've never played this game before, capsule review. All the path of it. All the path of Exile's character classes. Okay, so it kind of works like Final Fantasy X then. They got all of the characters on there. Share it all. One big huge tree. Travel across the tree to build complex combinations of skills from various disciplines. Keystone passes that drastically all the way a character is played. Okay. Resolute technique removes your ability to get critical strikes, but also prevents. I'll take it. I'll take that. Grants the properties of your shield to your minions rather than to you. <gasps> Excuse me. I guess if, uh, if I was a shop foreman kind of player, then yeah, I could see that being usable. Crackable jewels allows you to diameter and modify the tree itself. I didn't cause no clue what that means, but or what that uh, what that entails, but okay. The world of <laughs> gee, you know that you know that sounds vaguely like World of Warcraft. Want the title? Dark Brutal Contingent. 
scarred by mysterious catastrophes of the past, inhabited by creatures of the nightmare, the very environment changes it all. Oh, exhausted air explored. We're sick of the recent trend towards bright, cartoony RPGs. Dark, gritty, and realistic. Uh. Uh, hello? Diablo 3? Well, Diablo 2? Trying hard to do it justice. Stop! Path of Exile replayability is key. Um. I think it's gonna be the, um. It's got to be up to the player base whether or not a game is replayable or not. Not the designers. All world areas, including all door ones, are instance for your party. Sounds like a lot of other games I've played. Randomly generated and right down to the magic properties of the monsters that dwell in them and the treasure they card. Um... Diablo 3 had that too. Path of Exile is... I think they need a... They need to cut down on these text uh, hitboxes. You know, trim them down a little bit. A little bit smaller. It's like uh, I'm trying to highlight something, but it keeps getting uh, keeps getting the titles titles as well designed around items as is uh, Diablo 3 or hell as is just about any other uh, RPG any game systems that can be itemized with random properties have been well, okay I see what the it's just made this a whole sentence. Any game system with item random properties have been designed around items only. Our blasts are persistent items that have mods. Okay. Our in game areas can be found on map items that have mods. All are now, if um, can found as map items that have mods altering their challenges. Now, if this is something that, uh, if this is something that I can custom make for myself, I mean, that actually be pretty cool, because then um, I know on Diablo two, Diablo three, you got to take what the game gives you. And then you if this in this game here, if you can like custom tailor it, that actually be pretty cool. I mean, I, it'd be something different. Got as far as removing gold as currency. Yes, that I, that's gonna be definitely one thing I like about this game. Then, if nothing else, just get rid of the damn gold. And I'd, I'd like to see a game that doesn't have any kind of currency at all. Because you can pretty much you can pretty much kill a lot of the grindiness of the games if you don't have any kind of currency in there at all. Of course, kind of spoke too soon. Oh, they're getting rid of gold, but not their. I'm basing our trade economy around orbs that can randomly. For veterans of the best action RPGs. Warp Cradle Underground. Okay, so you can kind of do this then. I mean, not... Areas that have about two additional Rogue Exiles players have elementary. So you can kind of do it. I mean, not as much as I'd hoped. I mean, even the... um. The parameters of whatever it is you're running, there it's still RNG based. Gain two parch. Jesus, man! If you use this, you must really want a challenge. I don't want it. Reforge is a rare item with new random properties. Improves the quality of a weapon. Um, and I'm all, and I'm, I'm also guessing that uh, getting stuff like this is going to be few and far between. 
which then um, Infinity Plus One begins to rear its ugly head when that happens. I mean, by the time you actually get one of these items, you probably got so damn good at the game that you're not going to need them all that much. These, but again, I don't, I don't know how often you'd get these items. I mean, ideally, you should get them fairly often, you know, for like some kind of steady progression. But if they're like super rare, or even worse, if you have to, if you have to trade with another player for them, then no. And then and again, by the, by the time you even get them, you would have gotten, you would have gotten so used to your class, slash, good at your class that. Ain't gotta need much. Ain't gotta need them that much now. Leak. That's an interesting one. If it's uh, if it's anything like a bowling league, that'd actually be pretty cool. But uh, then again, it kind of. It kind of almost sounds like Seasons 2, or uh, the Diablo 2 ladder as well. And, uh, events. Nearly every uh, RPG I play, it has them. Yippee. One of the things that's most fun about playing a pen of online action is taking part in a leveling race. Okay, we're talking ladder here. I'm not a, I'm not a fan. The only person I'd really... The only person I'd really interested in competing against would be myself. Race leagues that are run frequently. Yeah, eh, this is just something that's going to go on one eye and out the other. Regular races, these can substantially modify the game. Ancient totals exist alongside groups of mock. <coughs> oh, that makes it interesting. Varying in duration from what? Stop. Varying in duration from one hour to several months, players can enter these leagues and show off their map. Like I said, this is probably. This is probably something I'm not even going to be into. Like I said, I mean, Diablo 3 had a, had seasons, Diablo 2 had a ladder, and I had no interest in either one of them. They're more like EP and races than anything. I guess I'll, I guess I'll look at the uh, passive tree. Uh, let me see how well. Okay, my game, uh, my game's still uh, downloading. Does this mic work? Yeah, it's working. This is Path of Exile, Path of... Oh my god! <laughs> Man, they mentioned... Oh, I'm zooming in and out. Thirteen hundred and twenty-five of them. Okay, I might. Okay, okay, there we go. Good lord. Yeah, that keep me busy a while. And if I choose to play hardcore, I'm probably not going to see. I'm not even going to see all this. Passive bonuses. Where? Let me um. Which Marauder, Ranger, Duelist, Templar, 
Uh, I'm gonna... I'll leave that alone. I'll, I'll want to look at each class individually. You can allocate a skill or explore deeper. Okay, that's so... This is just like Final Fantasy X then. So I'm guessing, or here, let me let me highlight what I'm trying to talk about. You're able to focus on improving your core abilities, or so what I'm guessing is uh that you can put more than one point into one node. At least that's what I'm guessing. The regular. Let me keep reading. Our notable and keystone passives. I'm assuming it's these. I'm assuming it's these big circles here. Notables have slightly larger icons, specific names on larger effects. They help guide players to build their characters on a macro level, allowing them to see at a glance what a cluster of passive. Keystone passives. Yeah, this is what I was looking at. This is one, definitely one thing, one other thing that Path of Exile got right. I, I just, every other game I play, just so bored of all the positive effects. They're all, they're all buffs. You know, or not to mention, I can't remember, I don't know any uh, specific skills off the top of my head, but a lot of them aren't realistic too. Or they just don't make much sense. Necromantic Ages takes away the property of shield, grabbing the which again, if you're if you're a shop foreman kind of player, which I'm not, I'm more of a solo guy. Then yeah, that because then any other any other buffs or abilities or whatnot that can improve your shields, your shields is actually going to benefit. If you have a whole bunch of minions, it's going to benefit them. And you can just sit there and custom tailor it however you want. Or relatively rare items in the game. Like, yo, that there's that yucky T word again. Fix the mistakes of the character build. Yuck, 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 yuck. I uh, see one drawback to it. This ain't like Final Fantasy XIV where you can all level all classes on one character. Looks like these guys have gone the uh, D3 and World of Warcraft route. You're basically going to have a... Uh, you're basically going to have to create a whole bunch of characters. You know, you might have... You know... You as a warrior, you probably pick up some kind of magical light and that boosts intelligence, but I mean, I mean, I'm a warrior. I want to be a dumbass, so, but maybe, you know, which means I'd have to create a wizard character and have, just so I can transfer that item over to him, and then, you know, and, you know, then if I'm playing my wizard and I pick up a item that increases your strength but lowers your intelligence, no, I'm a wizard. I don't want to be a dumbass, but my warrior wants to be a dummy, though. I'll just give it to him. It, Doing playing that uh, World of Warcraft about four and a half years that that gets annoying. You got to do with all all this shifting around on all your characters just for one stinking item. Gets tedious and annoying quick. Which I already saw that I don't even know where to start. You can show other players by giving them. Um, Diablo 3 had this too. Uh, various other forms had it as well. You, it's uh, 
I don't know the exact name. It's called a like a build creator. You can set up your build. You can set up all the items, equipment, and buffs and whatnot on that character, and then you can go ahead and um, you can go ahead and create a link for it, and you can you can submit that link to Twitter or the forums or wherever you want it to go. Damage with weapons penetrates 8% lightning resistance, 30% increase lightning damage with attack skill. What's this one here? No clue what this is. Uh, let me scroll down. Ascendancy classes. I'm assuming Ascendancy is the same thing as Basic. Master of Conclave. Oh, these are elite classes. So then, what are the Basic classes then? It's not gonna. It's not gonna show me what they do. Juggernaut Berserker. So where are the. Where are the classes at? I'll go back to overview, but. This is just a basic rundown right here. Ah, uh, items. Path of Exile is a game of all yeah, items. Surprise, surprise. Just an interactive townsfolk, you see only. Like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a trader. Um, the most trading I might do is, it's like if um, like on Diablo 2, like if I, if I drop a staff and if I got a wizard on my party, here, Wiz, you want this? But more often than not, whenever I did that, they practically laugh at me and just, oh, just vend it or something or whatever, so. I'm guessing this page here is for people who have never even played Diablo before. Man, I'm guessing this page is probably for uh, like, for, like old geriatric people that have never even played video games before. They appear as either prefixes or suffixes. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so, in this game, an exile is the same person as a player character. Twenty percent increased stun duration, if you stun them. Was he blind or a mastery? Well, that helps. Bit, bit of a gripe it's level locked but then again well, that's how it is in most every other game twelve percent requires level eighteen uh, 
Uh, if it's level locked. Yeah, it's a bit of a down, a bit of a downside having level locked equipment. Again, I mean, by the time I probably even get 22, either, either a, I'm gonna be dead since I I tend to play hardcore. I'm probably one. I'm probably gonna be dead before I even hit 22. Or b, I probably would have found, I probably would have found something that was way better than this. And I don't know. Uh, I don't know how they do their inventory in this game, but uh, if you don't get deadly squat for space, it, I'm already gonna start losing interest in this game immediately because I tend to be a hoarder. And um, if you if you can't expand your stash like you can in Diablo 3, it it needs to be up it needs to be upgradable fairly soon. Because again, but I mean, by the time I otherwise. By the time I even get to a point where I can expand my inventory, I'm probably gonna be, I probably would have been dumping off some of my stuff anyway, or selling it off, or, you know, or whatnot, or I'm probably gonna get so many, so damn many items, way more than what my inventory can currently have, you know. By the time I get more inventory space, I probably would have gotten rid of so many items, you know, hey, would have been nice to have this sooner. scale armor. Uh, same thing here. Full scale armor? How the hell does it get an evasion rating? I mean, if you're running around with big heavy metal armor, you ain't gonna be moving around much. Beetles plated grease of a lizard? And there's the dreaded requires level 23. Requires level 68. My character will probably be dead way before then. level requirement on it. Yeah, that's probably another um that's probably another thing I might want to look into crafting. I mean I mean some of this thing can be taken out of this level lock crap if I can craft my own stuff. I mean I mean you know to be fair I mean I usually play Final Fantasy XIV, and yeah, it's got level lock gear in there too. But on the do on the upside, you can just craft your own. And plus, uh, I don't know how the I don't know how the drops really work in this game, but I know one big thing about Final Fantasy I really like is um all all of the if you're running say level say um level ten content, or if you're running like say a level 10 quest all the monsters you kill are level 10 all the stuff they drop is level 10 um all the um all the equipment that you get rewarded you're awarded with for completing quests are also level 10 everything you need there is like level 10 it wouldn't be like what i had to go through in diablo it takes me off to no end i mean i could be i could run say a, a level like a level 8 or a level 9 quest and I get awarded with an item that I can't wear until freaking level 23. A lot of good that's going to do me. You know, stuff like that. Um, oh, flask life? Uh oh. You know, I mean, whereas that was a, that was a big time issue on uh, Diablo 2. Requires level 68, but I mean, I could probably, I could probably do a level, like a level, maybe kill like a level 30 monster or something like that, or a level 30, 35 monster, and he drops an item that you can't wear until you're level 68, you know, or, or something along those lines. And 
I mean, they're kind of the numbers are kind of exaggerated, but you get, you get the idea, you know. Getting equipment you can't wear until way on down the road, and sorry to sound like a broken record, but I usually play hardcore. I mean, whatever gear I drop, it need, needs to be usable immediately. Um, Diablo three was Diablo three was one of those that does that. All gear that drops is uh, always going to be equipable. If you're a level level 38, the monsters you kill drop level 38. You know, level 38 equipment you can wear right then and there. Uh, Diablo 2? Nope. Hey, I just killed a level 21 monster and it drops in the ring that I can't wear until level 42. And in Diablo 2, I don't think he... You couldn't expand your uh, stash space each. You couldn't expand your stash space each either. So, and people wonder why I use a hero editor in that game. Okay, I think I've seen this before. Upgrades a normal to a rare. Improves the quality of a map. Has greater effect on lower rarity maps. Twenty percent shift. Quality 20. I wonder what they mean by quality. But again, this might also be an upside too. If this is one of those where you can uh, custom make your own maps, your own your own dungeons, I'd actually like that. Oh, okay. Clone item. Whoa. Hell, no wonder it's taking forever. It's like 9.38 gigabytes. I didn't know it was that much in here. Well, I guess I found a really good way to pass the time by making an intro video on this. Skill gems. Um, I've always been a never been a really big fan on this I think um if you can use an ability it, it should be up in here you know you know how to use it you know all the all the little requirements involved and whatnot but man, I shouldn't need a gem in order to jump into the air I mean personally I'd rather have a I take that back. Yeah, I'm I'm not talking sense right now, but I guess if it was um uh, if the skills they give you are like super super supernatural powerful and stuff like that, I could see it. But Something else I need to look into too. Uh, end game area. So does that. Uh, what's the uh, level cap on here? I mean, I'm a new player. I mean, do it. I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't expect them to try to rush me through it all the way to the max level or anything. But I mean, if I'm, I'm also assuming that end game is what you get when you reach max level, and if that max level is like. 350 or something like that, then it's, yeah, I ain't going to see the end game anytime soon. Maps can have random mods. I'm trying to think. Yeah, Diablo 2 to... Damn it. Not like I was streaming anyway. Hardly a point having the Twitch app up. I have a... Yeah, I kind of... Excuse me. I kind of messed up. I thought, uh... One, uh... I don't remember what I clicked if it was in, install or whatever, but, uh... 
Path of Exile made it sound like the game was already installed up and ready to go and stuff. I didn't know. I thought it was already downloaded and installed and all that, but apparently not. So. I was expecting to stream like right after it's all ready to go and all that. Okay, increase my. Where's the community wiki? Okay, first thing I'm looking for is uh, what what the classes are. Okay, I'm still recording. Oh wow, 36 minutes, jeez. There it is. <laughs> Finally. Okay, so it looks like they're basically, uh, I think, um, what's the name? I think Guild Wars, Guild Wars 2 kind of had this. I think they base theirs, uh, their classes are divided by uh, what kind of armor they can wear. You had heavy armor, medium armor, light armor. Looks like they're uh, basing these on uh, strength, dexterity, and intelligence. <laughs> Which I'll probably go with uh, my first character. is probably going to be a marauder. Called in lightning. <laughs> so let's look up Marauder. <laughs> Marauder's Path of Exile is pure strength class. He is. Basically, he's a tank. My favorite role. It's all up from a single target, devastating area effect. The boot of a man bolsters the precipice of armor. Shouts and cries. Ooh, just like a barbarian in Diablo 2. And 3. Ally of the short term. Ascendancy classes. Voiced by New Zealand actor Damien Kane. Never heard of him. And I'm guessing you need to be max level and you probably had to. You probably had to have done the top tier Savage Raid or something. Or something which I'm probably not even going to see in my lifetime because I play hardcore. Okay, let's look up the labyrinth. It's a randomly generated dungeon. Basically a rift in uh, Diablo 3. And what do you need to get into the labyrinth? I'm guessing you probably need to be max level. Really need to start highlighting again. Too busy reading to pay attention. Had to clean the first six trials of ascendancy.
come back here. Monster level 33, 55, 68, 75. Yeah. It... All right, so go black. Look up back three. This is the third storyline act in this act. The exile of is a uh, kind of a spoiler-ish. I just want to know what level it is. Excuse me. So we start at 23. And we end at 33. So basically, if I'm understanding it correctly, the first labyrinth, you need to be level 33. Monster level. You need to be around 33. for the first time so I'm guessing you can get your ascendancy class at as early as level 33 but again I play hardcore so I don't even know if I'm going to see any of these uh, ascendancy classes or anything I'll, chances, of, chances are I'll probably be dead long before then so but yeah Let me look up Juggernaut. I'm guessing Juggernaut's probably going to be the, um... Uh... I want to say Paladin? Yeah. I don't really care about specific stats right now. Armor, 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 armor. Defense base, but I don't... charges yeah I don't see anything all uh, party based okay I'm guessing berserker is the uh, all attack yeah attack oriented and so I'm guessing chieftain is gonna be the uh, the party based one dealing additional fire damage to his attacks to totem taking greatly so I guess this guy is gonna be like the I guess he'd be like the um Enhancement Shaman on uh, World of Warcraft. At least, um, at least back when I first started playing it around the Cataclysm expansion, um, I know he could, uh, he could, uh, Shaman back at, back at that time could lay down like four totems, and they all provided various buffs to party members. Okay, maybe not. Lowest large amounts of life regen through his enhanced endurance charge of life. So again, there's nothing really here that uh nothing here that directly affects parties or anything. Yeah, let me back off one. And let me check out uh Okay, Ranger. Oh. Okay, good. So they did give him a melee weapon. So they're, so they're not completely boring then. Usually it's just Rangers. All they have is just a freaking bow and that's it. Doom, 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 doom. I mean, even one of you know, especially in something like World of Warcraft, you got a monster sitting there beating on you with his claw and you're still shooting at him with a freaking bow. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. You know, doesn't make much sense. Dead I am. Probably a sniper. 
How are you going to look into that one? Raider, I want to say this one here is the melee one. Raider Falky. This class doesn't have any modifiers specific to melee damage. Oh, Kinshi, ah. Uh, one of these boss enhances the accuracy. Class icon shows this class doesn't have specific to me. So I guess this one here is a. Uh, Versatility, maybe? Hmm. Let me check out Pathfinder. Okay, it doesn't really say anything about melee. Well, let me back up one. Okay. So I guess, I guess a uh, ranger here could almost be like a, like a red mage in Final Fantasy XIV. Red mages in uh, Final Fantasy XIV, they uh, cast spells, but they also use rapiers to get in and strike at melee range as well. Or hybrid character. Oh, there's hybrids in here? Uh, and I'm, I'm hoping that I, you don't have to like, get level 75 and have to, and have to complete 300 maps in order to get these or something. Both attack speed and evasion. Templar? So it's a monk, in other words. Well, that's a first. I mean, that's the first time I've ever heard of a heard of a Templar or heard of a Templar being called a monk before. Usually, when I think Templar, I'm thinking a Templar knight, like most other most every other game I played. The Templar knight, you know, big heavy armor, big shield, you know, like in Diablo Three, the Crusader. I mean, that's, that's what I think of when I think of Templar. I sure as hell don't think of a monk. I mean, hell, chances are uh, my first guy will probably be this one, if they're playable. Like I said, it was like the... Uh, farther up, I think it was like the three core classes or something like that. Larger in combat, this PS4 is. Martyr and champion for it. Yeah, wow. I think I just found my first class. If, if it's what I'm thinking of it. I'm kind of, um, I think, um, in these kind of games, my favorite class is the Monk. Then the bar, or especially in Diablo 3, my favorite class was the Monk, and then the Barbarian, and Crusader, and I can't remember what the other ones were, but in that order. And let me look at their Ascendancy classes, if I even make it this far. Oh, okay. Elementalist. Hero Vamp. Hello? Damage and unconventional methods. Wants a mana by converting into defensive bonuses. Templars are relying on multiple skills to take them. Uh, I don't want to read. I don't want to read those. I keep thinking, um. Oh, excuse me. 
I keep thinking that uh, they're like the uh, brewmaster monks in World of Warcraft. Like, uh, they had a mechanic in there called Stagger. Like, uh, if you take, when you take damage, I think, uh, oh, how did it go? You take, um, oh, I think it's, you take 20% of the damage immediately. The other 80% of that damage is staggered over like 10 seconds or something like that. I wonder if this is what they mean. I don't normally like to read all the abilities, but for this one, I'm going to. Oh, that's mana regen, regen, regen. Uh, 6%. Yeah, it doesn't say. Okay, so looking at this, and it looks like you do have access to all of these. Then, all right. I was under the impression that you only, you only, you can only have like Marauder, Duelist, or Ranger, or one of the, or no, Marauder, Duelist, and or Marauder, Ranger, or Witch. Excuse me. But yeah, it, so far, this is going to be my first class. Still want to look at the rest of them, though. There's Proficient with Dex. Okay, here's, um, here's Assassin. This is, ba yeah, this is basically the, um, Assassin class of Diablo 2. Okay, well. I pretty much found what I was I pretty much found what I was looking for here. Um, and I still only have a 37% of my game has been uh, downloaded, so that's gonna take a long time. So I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. I like I said, I pretty much found everything I wanted to find now, and. When this game gets uh, fully downloaded and all, at some point in the future, I'll start streaming it. I thought it was going to be... I mean, I thought it would have been about an hour ago. Hell, I never expected to be on here for 52 minutes. <laughs> but, okay. Um, so I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. And uh, Hang on, brain fart. Um, oh, thanks for watching. <laughs> God.